Well, now it's time to call on your friends and family, and it's all to help feed our children. Better Homes and Gardens Clean Out for Kids program encourages Americans to clean out their homes, host a yard sale, and help end childhood hunger all at the same time. Catherine Pushkar, Senior Deputy Lifestyle Editor for Better Homes and Gardens Magazine, is here to talk about this and also to share some tips on how to host a successful yard sale. And there actually are really good tips that will actually make you more money. Absolutely. Hi, Catherine. Absolutely. Hi. Nice Thanks to for have having you here. Me. So a lot of people are probably asking, how can a yard sale help end childhood hunger? Well, we put together Clean Out for Kids because one thing we know is that our readers want to get rid of clutter. People, mm -hmm. they, we did a survey that said 74% of our readers, the one thing they want to do this year is get rid of their stuff. And we thought, what better way to help people organize and also help children end hunger. So the idea with, for Clean Out for Kids is that people host yard sales and then at the end they donate all the proceeds to Share Our Strength, which is this great organization. Oh, what a good thing to do. So we got to talk about these tips yeah. to having a successful yard sale. So let's talk first. Mm -hmm. How long should a yard sale be? Should it be over a weekend, over a whole week? You know, we, we recommend keeping it to one day, Saturday really? most likely, and set your hours, 8 to 4, 9 to 2, whatever works for you, but really define the hours define the day. Okay, so one day, that's good. Yeah. That's less work for you, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And then also it gives you a rain date in case you know, the weather doesn't cooperate. Oh, I hate when that happens when you're trying to go have to a yard sale and it's right. raining. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things you brought today. So these are some of the things that... Yeah, you know, a rule of thumb when people are organizing, they might think, well, wh you know, I want to get rid of everything. Okay, <laughs> don't get rid of everything. But think about, like, anything that you haven't used for a couple years, two or three years, mm -hmm. try that. We thought some stuff like old you know, kitchen utensils mm -hmm. that you don't use anymore, kitchen devices, maybe some fashion stuff <laughs> that's no longer quite so fashionable. Books are, you know, they're constantly coming in the house, especially if you have kids. Holiday stuff, you know, I think everybody has the <laughs> gift that went straight to the attic. What about pricing items? Are there any tips or tricks to that? Yeah, uh, the rule of thumb we have is 25% off of retail. So say you've got a blender that would cost $40 in the store, put a $10 price tag on it. That's still going to make you a decent amount of money, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, and you know what? Don't be, don't be set on that price because people are coming and they want to have a good time and part of that experience is, is negotiating or mm. haggling a little bit. So, you know, maybe you sell that $10 blender for $5. It still goes to a good cause. Yeah, be ready to bargain. Okay. Absolutely. So you brought an extension cord and I think this is one of the really great this tips. This is a great tip mm -hmm. and I totally would not have thought of it without PHG telling me. <laughs> um, but what it is, is you, you Put it where you have all your electronics because one of the things like you know I, I actually bought a toaster once at a yard sale and I had to wait until I got home to find out if it works mm -hmm. and so this could really clinch a sale plug it in and then maybe that lamp will work and you know someone will take it okay so what are some of the other tips that you guys tell readers to do for their yard sales well one thing you might not think of this and if you don't you find out the hard way but call the town hall before you decide you know decide when to have your yard sale because you might need a permit oh. or there might be some sort of parking rules or something like that but mm -hmm. anyway just call them and make sure that everything's okay once you get the green light then you you can start and part of that is publicizing it you so have you to let advertise. people yeah mm -hmm. absolutely we on our toolkit which is at bhg.com slash clean out for kids you can download these flyers oh. and print them out and we have labels and everything we, ha we make it so easy and it'll be so much fun thank you Catherine that's a great idea and I love the sign because it lets people know that it's going for a good cause as yeah. well and it's so. really easy just fill it out okay well for more information on the Better Homes and Gardens Clean Out for Kids program and to see many more tips and tricks for hosting your own yard sale, make sure to go to bhg.com.